in a class of 180 students 50 passed in history and geography 50 in history and sociology 30 in sociology and geography and 10 students passed in all three subjects no students have failed in all the three subjects find the total number of students who have passed in history only geography only and sociology only right options given are 65 70 75 and 60 so basically he says that there is a class of 180 students the total strength is 180 50 of these students have passed in history and geography 50 have passed in history and sociology and 30 have passed in sociology and geography and there are 10 students who have passed in all the three subjects 10 students who have passed in all the three subjects and no students have failed in all the three subjects no students have failed in all the three subjects so there's no student who's failed in uh, all the three subjects right i mean students could have failed in one subjects or one subject or two subjects but none of them have failed in all the three subjects so that's also an important data point now he says find the total number of students who have passed in history only geography only and sociology only so we are looking at those students who have passed in only one of the subjects it could be either history or geography or sociology all right now clearly the total strength is 180 and there are three subjects there are three types of subjects that you talked about right history geography and sociology now, i think the easiest way to solve this question would be to go by the concept of venn diagrams right set theory so what do we do we represent each item with the help of a circle it, it's represented using a set so and then the the combination of these sets is, is what is called a venn diagram right so there are three subjects here let's represent each subject with the help of a circle right and and you know that the venn diagram to be drawn will be as follows right these are the three subjects let's say the first one represents history the second one is geography and the third one here is sociology these are the three subjects and then there is a universal set this rectangle here is the universal set so basically what we are trying to say is that the total value of this rectangle or total value of this box here is 180 why is it 180? Because total number of students are 180. Now, these 180 students have been distributed across different regions here. If you see, there are uh, eight different regions. I mean, I'm, I'm not willing to go back to the basics, but if you have to quickly look at it, what are the eight different regions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You're getting it? Like this is A, B, C, this is D, E, F, right? D, E, F, G, and H. And each region represents one type of item like for example a shows those students a represents those students who have passed only in history remember a is this region there's no overlapping between any of these regions here right a is that region which shows students passed only in history b shows students passed only in geography right i mean if i have to highlight what i'm actually talking about b is this region b is this region here right this region students who have passed only in geography c is the students who have passed only in sociology what about uh, D plus G? D plus G is the students who have passed in history and geography. History and geography. F plus G, students who have passed in uh, geography and sociology. E plus G, students who have passed in history and sociology. What is D? D represents those students who have passed in history and geography only. D is a combination of history and geography only. It doesn't include sociology. Similarly, you can find out about F and E right what about h h is outside these three regions right so h is those students who have failed in all the three subjects or who have passed in none of the subjects passed in none of the subjects is as good as failed in all the three subjects right and then what is g g is the most overlapped region here g is covered in h is covered in g is covered in s so it shows those students who have passed in all the three subjects so some numbers have been given to us in the question we have to allocate those numbers into these different regions and then find out the answer what is the required answer he's asking us to find out the total number of students who have passed in history only geography only and sociology only now what is history only a a is the region that shows history only see how many students have passed in history how many students have passed in history it's not a the number of students who have passed in history is a plus d plus g plus e Number of students who have passed in geography is B plus D plus G plus F. In sociology, it is C plus F plus G plus E. But number of students who have passed in history only, the keyword only is very important here. You understand? Questions in set theory, the word only plays a key role. Right? Only is what? History only is A. Geography only is B. Sociology only is C. So basically, the required answer in the question is A plus B plus C. Right? Number of students who have passed in history only, geography only, and sociology only is A plus B plus C equals to what? Now, it's all about filling the values here, right? So, let me let me just clear these uh, variables that we have used, right? 
and then enter the values, numerical values. So, so look at this. Uh, I, I have discussed this very clearly in the video as well, the video on set theory, that always start with the innermost region. Whenever you're filling up the values, you should always fill what is the centermost region first, then the three leaves, and then the outermost regions, right? It's an inside out operation. Then it becomes easier. So here, if you see, he says 10 students passed in all the three subjects. We know that all the three subjects, students passed in all the three subjects is shown by this region. So 10 have passed in all the three subjects. So 10 comes there. Now, now look at the other three values. There are three more values given to us. What is it? 50 passed in history and geography. 50 have passed in history and geography. See, what is history and geography? History and geography is this leaf. History and geography total is this leaf. He has not mentioned that 50 have, 50 have passed in history and geography only. He says 50 have passed in history and geography. So it includes this whole region. Out of 50, 10 have already come here. So can you say remaining 40 comes here? Yes. Now if you see, history and geography together is 40 plus 10, 50. Similarly, 50 have passed in history and sociology. History and sociology. This leaf is 50. But again, same, out of 50, 10 has come here. So remaining 40, the balance 40 has to come here. Right? 40 plus 10 is 50. And then 30 have passed in sociology and geography. See, total of this is 30. Total of this is 30. 10 plus this should be 30. So this should be 20. You're getting it? Sociology and geography is 30. So 10 plus 20 is 30. Getting it? Now, suppose if the question says, how many have passed in history and geography only? History and geography only is 40. Right? How many have passed in geography and sociology only? Geography and sociology only is 20. History and sociology only? 40. All three anyway, it's 10. Now, how do we get A, B and C? Well, finding out individual values of A, B and C is not possible here. Right? Because enough data has not been given to us. But then, he's not asking us to find out A or B or C. Right? The question is about A plus B plus C. H is equal to 0, by the way. H is equal to 0. Why? Uh, no students have failed in all the three subjects. So that makes H 0. Now, A plus B plus C, can I say A plus B plus C is total 180 minus all the other values? Yes. So A plus B plus C will be equal to 180 minus these values. So 180 minus 40 minus 40 minus 20 minus 10 minus 0 because this region also has to be excluded, right? A plus B plus C. So 40 and 40 is 80, 80 plus 10, 80 plus 20 is 100, 100 plus 10 is 110. So minus 110, 180 minus 110, 70 is the final answer. So option B, 70 is the answer to this question. Please do not go by the length of the explanation. I was explaining this to you. When you solve it yourself, it wouldn't take more than 30 seconds. So I think 30 seconds to get one mark here without committing any mistake, right? This is a very simple question. All you have to do is pay attention to the words, right? And, and these words like only are very important, right? Only, geography only, sociology only, history only. And, and based on the question, try to find out the answer, right? Multiple questions can be asked. Like, like the question can say, how many of them have passed in history and sociology only? History and sociology only is 40. Suppose the question says, how many of them have passed in exactly two subjects? How many of them or find the total number of students who have passed in exactly two subjects? Now, exactly two subjects means what? 40 plus 40 plus 20. Because these 40 have passed only in two subjects. These 20 have also passed in only two subjects. And these 40 have passed in only two subjects. So 40 plus 40 plus 20, uh, 100 will be the answer. How many have passed in exactly three subjects? 10. How many have passed in more than two subjects? More than two subjects, what's the answer? 10 again. More than two subjects. More than two subjects means what? They have to pass in all the three subjects, which is 10. How many of them have passed in more than one subject? More than one subject would mean two subjects plus three subjects. So 40 plus 20 plus 40 plus 10. You're getting it. So based on the question, pick up the values and get the required answer. The answer to this question would be 70, option B.